All right, I'm going to demonstrate what I do every morning regarding developing a daily plan for my work. And I'm going to do that using my Obsidian Personal Knowledge Management PKM system and Claude uh, Desktop along with uh, MCP or Model Context Protocol servers. You see right there, I've got a note that they could not attach my MCP server to the HubSpot. That's okay. I have an MCP server running for local things, such as local files, as well as for um, my calendar. And then I've got one running for uh, my PKM, Obsidian. So Obsidian is exposing itself to through an MCP server to Claude have a community plugin for that, I believe it is MCP tools, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's pretty slick. Also, it's important to note, I have um, a whole host of journal entries that I keep track in a journal folder. So going back to 2020, but then these are the most recent and uh, that just, every day, I just keep track of what I've been doing, how I'm feeling, what I've been working on. Um, and then I have a multi-scale time block plan that I create every day that starts with annual plans. So I have, you know, goals and objectives for the year. Then that cascades down to quarterly plans. So each quarter I come up with a plan. Then I have monthly plans. And... Weekly plans, as you'd expect, and then down to daily plans. So here's a weekly plan for this current week, things I'm supposed to be working on, uh, things I want to focus on and prioritize, and then even success metrics, and then what to look forward for the next week. And then the last thing I want to show you is this impact leverage matrix that I devised, which is a way for prioritizing things uh, that are both high impact and high leverage. So you got four quadrants. If you're thinking about a two by two in terms of high impact, low impact, high leverage, low leverage. And if we define impact as the significance and value of the results produced. So like what difference is this thing going to make? And then leverage as the multiplier effect achieved relative to the effort invested. So I obviously, if you can accomplish tasks or projects that are going to have a big impact, but they're not a lot of work because they're high leverage, then you want to do those. Those are the high impact, high leverage, top priority items. Examples of this would be creating systems or frameworks that can be reused across multiple projects. You want to do that sooner than later because it's going to have a multiplier effect on the road. Developing clear decision-making criteria for recurring choices or strategic planning that guides numerous downstream decisions or teaching other skills that increase team capacity, etc. So we want to prioritize those items each day. And then you want to next look at high-impact items that are important but might be low leverage, like strategic deep work. For me, that'd be often like writing, working on books, deep creative work, that sort of thing. Then if you have some low impact, but still high leverage ideas, these are like gap fillers, quick opti optimization. Sometimes I might say quick wins, setting up some templates, team check-ins, these kinds of things. They're not going to make a huge difference throughout the day or into the future, but they have a multiplier effect. And so when I'm not doing these other major things, these are the good things to do. Now, if you have a bunch of tasks that are low impact and low leverage, try to just eliminate those or delegate them, pass them off to somebody else if possible. Uh, or get rid of them, eliminate them, just don't do them at all. Or if you do some of these high impact, high leverage tasks, like creating systems or frameworks or automating things, sometimes your automations will take care of these items that are in the fourth category. All right, so this is important, not just for me to think through what I wanna do, but I actually feed this into Claude. I tell Claude to prioritize my daily plan and work out my daily plan by thinking through this. So let's work through this over here. So we'll just write out a prompt here and uh, start talking with Claude for the day.
now I could save a prompt like this and, uh, or maybe even a project and then just, uh, it'll know each day what I want to do, but I'm just going to do this manually right now. So you get a sense of what I'm trying to tell the system. Sometimes I like to be really polite with the AI. I'm not so sure that changes the output. I think it might. I know I get better results, but the reason is I don't think it's because it's doing a better job because I'm polite to it. I think it often affects the way I talk to it. When I'm more polite and I ask for, I say please and thank you, I tend to be more descriptive and um, helpful in my prompts. So, Whatever the reason, I'm often very polite to it as if this is one of my own workers or somebody I've hired to do this job. So this isn't perfect, but this is the, the general task. Again, I could save this as a, as a prompt that I could copy and paste every day, or I could create a, a project, and I probably should create a project and have a Claude-like executive assistant, life coach type person, and... Uh, describe what a daily plan activity would be and just bake this in there. So then I could just come and say, hey, please create a daily plan for me today according to our typical practice. And then it would just understand from the provided materials what to do. But here's the, the manual thing. Let's, uh, let's run it, see what happens. It's going to probably pop up uh, for permissions It looks like it's already been granted permissions. Sometimes it pops up with these dialog boxes asking for permission to search and to access my, my resources. You'll see it's telling you what it's doing. It's requesting files from my PKM. And it just uh, starts spidering through it based on what it finds. It just found my impact leverage matrix. We've got an error up there. We'll see if it can... Work through the error. It's checking April's monthly plan. It's getting my Asana tasks. Checking my calendar. All right, now it's looking for recent journal en entries for additional context. Looks like it couldn't find my calendar. Something might be wrong with the MCP server. Here comes the plan. <laughs> yes, I'm not feeling well. It read that in my journal. <clears throat> Yeah, that's not happening at 9 p.m. Uh, some of this is just will just be unreasonable, but the idea is I've got a starting point. I could have a dialogue with Claude and work through it there. Sometimes I just like to paste it in here and just start messing with it myself. So, yeah, this is really helpful. So it's reminding me of some things I that have slipped my mind this morning, things I need to work on, given my Asana tasks. So there's some checks I need to send, some invoices that are that are due. Uh, but basically, I, I have a prioritized list of items. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll work through this line by line and see what is actually useful, what I want to do today. But this is a really helpful tool. And it kind of gets helps me get perspective on the day and 
because it's using this impact leverage matrix and then thinking through that with all the necessary inputs, uh, it helps just keep me oriented, kind of like a compass. I'm pointed it towards true north. You might not always be aligned perfectly towards your ultimate goal, but you're at least in the right direction. And if you keep adjusting course as you go, uh, you're you're doing a lot better than if you were just going by whatever you think is important to do or whatever you're interested in the moment. So that's that's where I find this helpful. So you can see there's a lot of opportunities and you could figure this out for your own context, what might be helpful to you. But I find this to be tremendously beneficial and it usually only takes me, you know, 10 minutes in the morning. And this itself, I think, is a high impact, high leverage activity.